Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week I'm going to be sharing with you guys this very cute and simple Nella tutorial. So I'm going to start off with this two week old manicure and the nail polish that I used here is the same one that I featured in my favorites video a few weeks ago. So I'm just going to take some of this pharmacy nail polish remover and it contains rose water and you guys already know anything with rose water I'm extremely sold for. So I'm just using regular old cotton buds for this and the one thing that I really like about this nail polish remover is how you dispense it. So you just kind of like press on the pump that comes on the bottle and it just dispenses a few drops. It's very efficient if you ask me. However, the one thing I really don't like is the smell. It has a very, very strong rose scent, which I guess comes from the rose water. And I know I like rose water, but I'm not a huge fan of how roses smell. So I don't like how it smells so much. But if you like roses, then you'll definitely, definitely love how this smells. So just to save on time a bit, I filed and trimmed my nails off camera just so that I can make them nice and even. And then I went ahead and used this tiny cute brush that I got from Nakumat to clean them up. So the first nail polish I'm going to use today is this nail hardener from Luron and this is what I'm going to use as my base coat. So with this you want to apply a very thin and even coat on all your nails just so that the drying process can be a bit faster and also to make sure your manicure comes out looking very smooth. So the second nail polish you're going to use is this white one from Luron which is in the number 201 if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to apply this nail polish on about 3 quarters of my nail and that's 3 quarters vertically as you can see there. And I'm going to use a very thin coat for this first white coat that I'm going to use just so that it can dry fast and I also don't want to apply very thick coats and pile them up on each other. A quick disclaimer though, I'm not a nail art professional so this may not be the neatest job but I'm doing the best that I can. And as you can see there, and I go in with my second coat, it's making the white polish a bit more opaque and it looks better. The third nail polish you're going to need is a black one. I'm using this number 22 one from Luron as well. So what we're going to do with the black polish is we're going to put it on half of the nail. And the biggest tip that I can give you for doing this is keeping your nail still rather the whole hand still and then you only want to move your hand so you just place the hand on one position and then you just drag it in one stroke don't do it many times that's how you mess it up so just with one stroke put it all over and that is what you end up with which you can actually keep so for the next step you're going to need somewhere to place your nail polish and for this I'm using this old Nutella cover and you're also going to need some sort of dotting tool and for this I'm using a, a regular old bobby pin. So first I'm going to start out with a black polish and I'm just going to place a few drops on the cover and mine was a bit harder to come out because the polish was drying out but I managed to get quite a few drops. So I'm going to pick up some polish with a bobby pin and one thing you want to note is that the harder you press on the nail, the fatter your dot will be. So you just want to place the, the nail polish gently on your nail and this way you'll get these tiny neat dots on the nail. And how you want to do this is you want to alternate, like you want to put a dot, leave some space, put a dot, leave some space and you want to place them right on that line. So when you've done this on all your fingernails, then repeat the process but now with the white polish. So place the white polish on your surface of choice. Then we're going to pick it up and then place them on the gaps that we left. So remember the gaps that you left when we were doing the black dots. So you want to go in between those gaps and that's where you're going to place the white polish but now on the black surface. So on the black surface you put white dots and on the white surface you're going to put black dots. So you just want to repeat this on all your nails and it's as simple as that you guys. You are basically done and you have this very expensive looking manicure that you did by yourself at home. Now if you're messy like me, you're going to have to clean up the edges. So I'm just using the same nail polish remover and a smaller cotton wool and I'm just going around my nails and cleaning up all the unwanted nail polish. As you can see, this was a very messy job for me. 
so that's it for this week's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe until next time bye